Overall, good team win. Um, energy's been good. I know uh, excited about getting back in here this week and uh, have another great week of preparation. Uh, looking forward to playing a great UTEP team. Yeah, I mean, the more you win, the more energy you get, right? And, uh, and our kids have been, again, uh, the men have been great all year about bringing that energy and, um, you know, sticking together. And uh, we've had good weeks. We've put together good weeks. Uh, even on some of those, we didn't, we came up a little short. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's been really good. So hopefully we can keep that role going. Uh, that's what it's about. Um, you know, and that's what makes this time of the year fun, November. It's just, uh, you know, getting an opportunity to compete and hopefully uh, go one another this week. Well, situational football, I think, more than anything. I think, uh, you know, we did a good job uh, converting. I think we're 60-something percent on third downs and fourth downs, or three or four or fourth downs. Um, really, the only one we missed was, uh, you know, a long fourth and nine on their, their end. We were too far out for a field goal. Um, and so I thought uh, we did a much better job of converting, uh, made some big plays. And defensively, got off the field. They were uh, three of 11 or 12. I can't I don't know, the, can't remember the exact number. but. Um, you know, that's, that's to me, uh, what it's all about is those situations and um, not giving up explosive plays. Uh, obviously, we won the explosive, explosive play battle, which was good. And, um, you know, we just, uh, other than the one pick, um, just being able to take care of the football has been important. You guys kind of found an identity here a little bit running the football? Yeah, I think so. You know, those backs are doing a great job up front, um, taking great pride in that playing physical on the perimeter. I mean, really everywhere. And um, obviously that's something that uh, we need to continue to do. Um, you know, I thought our backs uh, were running <laughs> really physical the other day, and um, which is key. Um, again, one man goes down with DeAndre, and the other three stepped up and made some big time plays, had two 100 yard rushers. Um, so I think the physicality on both sides of the ball up front is where it starts. You've heard me say it a million times. I think that's, uh, the most important thing, and uh, you know, something we have to continue to to get better at. So one of those hundred yard rushes, you packed a Ragsdale had kind of a career day, two touchdowns over hundred yards. What did you see out of your bag? Uh, I think you know he finally got back to healthy and practicing, um, you know, especially with those young guys. They've been out, uh, you know, both of them, him and Isaiah, uh, throughout the season, kind of in and out with some different things going on with injuries and. You know, once that happens, you, you miss a week of practice uh, here or there, uh, especially for young guys. It takes time to get back in there and get back into the rhythm of of doing it. I think uh, just those guys, the weeks they've had leading up here, the last few weeks being in the lineup and being able to practice and uh, get the looks, uh, you know, I think they're just uh, they look a lot more comfortable kind of back to where uh, they were kind of coming into fall camp and uh, through fall camp. So it's good to see those guys out there. Um, Again, Iowa continues to get in there and make some plays for us. And uh, those two came up big this past week. You talked about DeAndre going out. Uh, just at this point, do you feel like you're going to have him back this week? Or? It's too early right now. Um, you know, uh, early in the week, we'll kind of see as the week goes on uh, how his body responds. Okay. Is that the, the performance those two guys put on out there, does that just show how you guys are particularly at that position? Well, I felt like coming into the season, that was one of our deeper groups, um, not the deepest. I think, uh, you know, feeling like we had with uh, DeAndre, Oscar Attaway, we have Isaiah Kaika. Um, obviously, Io stepped up. Um, you know, I felt like, and NBK, you know, young guy that hadn't got in there yet, but doing some really promising things. But I felt like as a group that, uh, you know, we could, we could lean on and rely on heavily. Um, obviously, there's been some injuries in that room and some ups and downs, not only that, but really a lot of our skills. So uh, just timed up to where those guys are getting back in really, uh, really helps. Is he training kind of figuring it out? It looks like he's coming on. D Brown? Yeah. yeah, I thought he was excellent Saturday. I think he's a guy that, uh, you know, we need to continue to make sure he gets out there. And, um, you know, I think our guys understand the word credits. You earn credits um, when you're out there and uh, you're mentally prepared for the game. and. Um, there's no mental errors, and uh, you're going up and got got the ball, played physical, um, and had some explosives. So that's what we need him to do. I mean, I know he has 
uh, we, we've been really excited about D. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was awesome to see him step up in there on Saturday and make some big plays. And I think that's only going to add confidence to his, uh, to him. And, um, you know, he's only going to get better from here. So excited about the way he played. On the defensive side, it was the fewest yards you guys have allowed all year. Uh, just where did you see that was really going well that you guys can continue moving forward? I thought we played good, uh, just complimentary defense with each other. And just, again, I think they're getting more comfortable uh, within our scheme and um, how we're attacking, um, you know, different systems. And uh, and they're playing fast and hard. I think that a lot of it takes care of. We, we had a couple. Um, it wasn't the cleanest game we've played maybe defensively at times, but I think some of the effort and energy overcame it uh, just by guys getting to the football. Um, and so... Are taking great pride in it. Um, they're having a lot of fun within the system. Coach, Coach Bennett and Coach, uh, those coaches do a great job. And um, and I think it's like anything: the more confidence, the more plays you make together, the more confidence you build, the uh, more comfortable you get within the system. Uh, good, good things start to happen. And I think uh, it's that. And I think it's again a lot of it's the way we've uh, been able to prepare the last few weeks. Very yeah, I, I, Dana does a great job. Coach Demo is a, a, an excellent football coach. Um, offensively, uh, you know they, they're physical. Um, they they always are. It starts up front with them. They're going to try to establish the run game. Uh, they got those big backs that get downhill on you. Um, but I'll tell you where a lot they're different at, at the quarterback and, and receiver position. They have a lot of skill. Um, uh, those wide receivers are, are athletic. They can all run and, and go make big plays. Quarterbacks whipping it around great, strong arm, uh, manages the game well. And then defensively, you know, Coach Peeve's done a great job with that group as well. I've known Peeve a long time. And, uh, you know, they're they're big and strong up front. I think that's one of their biggest strengths uh, is their, their D-line. Um, but uh, they're aggressive. They play aggressive uh, and they play hard. And I think special teams are always well-rounded and solid. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's they're a very good football team, and um, you know, it'll be a great challenge for us this week. But I know our guys are excited about the opportunity, um, and we started off uh, with a great day today. Chris Harrison, you know, just taking a big step forward for them. Yeah, I think so. Um, again, playing well and playing within the system, so uh, doing a good job. As far as their defense goes, I mean, they've been the best so far in Conference USA in terms of yards allowed. Just mm -hmm. what have you seen out of that unit? Again, I think it all starts up front with them. I think they do a great job in the run game up front and the pass game. Uh, they're athletic. They can get to the quarterback, uh, and they bring those pressures, and then obviously play just good, solid team defense. Um, you know, they're aggressive. He'll he'll uh, he'll he'll pressure you. and understands when to come after you. You'll see some uh, zero pressures, um, and so uh, I think I think again they're just playing. Playing well together, I, you can see that their confidence is really just a lot like our defense, growing every every single week. Um, guys playing together, um, getting that continuity, and um, you know they they've played solid. Wanted to ask you a little bit about Rich Tejada. It seems like he's really stepped forward for you in your team when you when you needed him. Has he done well for you? Yeah, Ridge has. Uh, I'm proud of him. You know, because again, he's another guy that. Um, you know, it doesn't always, we tell these guys all the time, especially early on, it doesn't matter where you start. It matters kind of how you finish and always being prepared and ready uh, for when your opportunities do, do come, you got to make the most of them. You got to earn your credits there. And, um, you know, the more you do, uh, the more confidence, not only in yourself, but your teammates and your coaches and um, guys stepping up and making plays. So he's done that. He's, he's, uh, uh, he's been uh, really solid for us. And again, we got some other guys, I think Gaddy moving to a, a different position kind of, the last couple of weeks, he's done well. Um, you know, Sean moving out of, you know, from nickel to safety. Uh, I think he's getting more comfortable now after a couple of weeks, uh, doing some good things. So, again, proud of uh, Ridge. And, uh, again, well, there's a lot of guys, though, that uh, who have had to do some different things uh, schematically, uh, play different positions uh, on our team, whether it's offense or defense. And they've guys are starting to get more comfortable as it goes. Uh, it's challenging early, but uh, the more reps they get, and the more game time they get with it, uh, the better they, will, they, they get. Is it just ready when you're off? Because it did look like you get an opportunity to shoot all seven games. Well, he gets a lot of reps in practice. I mean, that's where it all starts, right? It's how you prepare and practice. And, um, you know, we, we, we're going to get everybody, you got to get everybody coached up. Um, guys getting reps. Some guys don't have as many as others, just depending on kind of uh, where we're at. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, he prepared the right way, and, and when his time came, he, he's made plays for us, which is awesome. And speaking to some other guys in that defensive backfield, 
road. Obviously, John Davis Jr. has been a big banged up. I just was curious if you anticipate having him back. I anticipate having John back, yeah. Okay. I was going to ask you a little bit uh, about your 2004 class recruit. Like, if you want to keep those guys, you know, up inside of the spheres like you decided to leave the program, does, does that hurt when you lose multiple guys in the class like that? In today's recruiting, how it goes, uh, it's going to happen year in, year out. You're going to lose guys, but at the same time, it's it's guys you can bring in as well. There's different ways we can uh, kind of counter that. But uh, I want guys that want to be here at North Texas. I want guys that uh, feel the same way about this program, this university that uh, I do, that our coaches do, and uh, all the other guys on this team feel. And so uh, if you feel like your opportunities are better somewhere else, you need to go take them. I, this is uh, – uh, you got to make you got to make the best decision for you. But I know this: I'm going to coach the guys that uh, love being here and and uh, want to be a part of this culture. And uh, those are the guys I'm going to coach up. I wanted to ask you a little bit about DeAndre Corey. He's getting closer to the end of his career. Mm -hmm. How much has he meant to the program over the course? Of the he's made a ton of plays here. Uh, meant a lot, not only because of the plays he's made, but the type of person he is. The um, you know, a great teammate, uh, extremely smart, understands all the all the skill positions. He can go out and play any of the receiver positions too. Um, and so, just I think with his experience, he's been, especially this year, uh, his leadership has been uh, second to none. Um, he's a really valuable piece to this, and um, you know, again, he's he's been a special player for us. Uh, he's made a lot of big time plays here over the last four years or so. Um, so. You know, but it's uh, it always comes down to the, you know this time of the year to where uh, there's guys you're going to lose after the season that it's time to move on and, and do bigger and better things or uh, whatever that is in life. And uh, you know, I, I'll I'll ride with that guy any day of the week uh, forever. So he's a special dude.